Hello, today's devotional can be found in Acts chapter 16, verse 30. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Okay, so, to be saved is to partake of the atonement. It's to partake of the atonement and allow yourself to let go of what holds you back from growth. Because without growth, you cannot be saved. Without being willing to grow and to learn and to reflect on what holds you back that you don't need, you really cannot be saved. Life is too short to let petty things hold us back from being able to fully develop our relationship with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Fear is among those petty things that we can let go. Fear is a demon. It was created by Satan that we might not feel worthy or comfortable in Christ's presence. But you know what? Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are all around us. They put their hands in our lives every day. They have created all of us, so we're around them, so I don't know why we're afraid of them. They bring things that create joy and happiness. They bring life. Satan brings nothing but pain and sorrow and solitude, and that is not what we want to be seeking out of this life. I mean, we could, but we're going to be miserable. To be saved is to have a willingness to partake of the atonement by letting go of what's holding you back and a willingness to grow and learn and become better and live up to the potential that we all have as children of God. Life is so very short, too short to not strive to live up to and beyond our potential. We are of infinite worth and yet we hold ourselves back through our fear and unwillingness to change. We don't even have to become perfect before we utilize the help of Jesus Christ. We can start where we are and progress from there if we choose. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.